Hi and welcome back to Dirt Bike Magazine's video series, The 19s, where we take you up close and personal with all the 2019 motocross models. Today, as you can see, we have our first chance to throw a leg over the 2019 Honda CRF 450R. So for all the in-depth technical data, you can head over to dirtbikemagazine.com we're just gonna run you through this really quick. So if you're looking at this motorcycle thinking it looks exactly like last year, you're halfway right. But this bike underneath has huge changes. It's almost a brand new motorcycle. So every Honda guy has asked for this for years, but it finally got black Dirt Star rims this year. It's got a new brake caliper up front, a new front brake line, revised fork settings internally, and on the top triple clamp has more adjustment with two different mounting holes for the handlebar mounts, similar to what we've seen on other manufacturers. There's a launch control device that is actually actuated from the starter button now. The main frame is all brand new with the swing arm being new with a new peg design. The exhaust is new for 2019 as well with a drastically different looking header design for improved performance. The subframe saw lots of changes to match the main frame. The rear sprocket was lightened up for 2019. Everything was designed to lighten the motorcycle up. And the bike comes specced out with Dunlop MX3S tires. So that's enough talking. We wanna ride this thing. So stay tuned later in this video. We're gonna give you our impression after the first day of testing. Okay, so first day of testing here at Cheney Ranch on the 2019 Honda CRF 450R. Just finished up, learned a lot today about the new motorcycle. We got to ride both the standard edition and the works edition today. The standard edition suspension settings, we like the sag at about 107, 108 millimeters of sag in the rear. Once we got that sag set, we didn't really mess around with the shock a lot. Uh, most test riders were happy with the way the action of it slowed the rebound down a couple clicks to kind of calm it down coming into corners and accelerating out of corners. In the front, we did a lot of work with, we ended up about two millimeters from the top of the being flush. And then we added some rebound to the front, probably about two or three clicks, and then added a couple clicks of compression to keep it up in the stroke so that it didn't dive down and pack. Engine wise, you could definitely tell a difference between the mapping, the number one map, has a broader power range than the like the, the aggressive map. The aggressive map kind of hits hard down low and then kind of signs off really early. And then the mellow map just seemed to have a smooth delivery all the way through. We, we felt like we had to clutch it a little bit more. So most test riders preferred the standard map, just had to clutch it a little bit more off the bottom to get it moving. But once it got moving, it, it was good. Didn't get a lot of time with the launch control. It's actually kind of tough to understand. It's on the starter button now. So there will be more on that. We were a little bit pressed on time. The one thing that really surprised us about this year's motorcycle is the clutch. We've been complaining about the Honda clutch, it seems like since 2009 now, and it hasn't really got any better. There's still a lack of feel. You don't have to use it as much anymore because the bike has a little bit more power. It's still definitely a weak point for this motorcycle. For the complete in-depth test on the 2019 Honda CRF 450R, check out the October issue of Dirt Bike Magazine. And as always, head over to dirtbikemagazine.com for the latest off-road and motocross industry news.
Have you seen the other 2019 motocross models we've tested? Check these out.